Hello and welcome to, oh you can see Jack, I'm going to move the camera. We don't want you seeing any of his confidential work stuff, do we now? Welcome to another vlog. Today is my first day on OBS and Guiley, which is an eight week placement where I'm going to be based in Southampton. It is Monday the 8th of January and we have got a week of lectures basically to introduce us to a new specialty and I'm quite excited for the obs and gynae part of this placement so I've been a bit disappointed this morning when we've started on the gum stuff so we're doing a lot of STIs and sexual health but definitely definitely so excited for obs and gynae and I'm really excited to hopefully see babies being born we have got online lectures this morning and I've already done a welcome lecture a epidemiology lecture a lecture on confidentiality, a, a lecture on urethral discharge, and a lecture on sexual history taking. So we've already got through quite a lot and it's 10 to 12 now. At the end of each lecture, there's like a Q&A on Teams and we have to all have our cameras on and engage with that. So it's not like we can just do it at our own pace, unfortunately, we actually do have to do the lectures in order um, because he kind of, the lecturer picks on you as well at the end of the lectures. Anyway, I'm on a break at the moment, so I've just had my breakfast. I've got two more lectures to do online. They are genital lumps and genital ulceration. Then we have one more Q&A session just before one o'clock. And then I have to travel to Southampton for an afternoon of in-person stuff. So it's quite a long day. Welcome back to a new year. I know I've already uploaded this year, but this is my first vlog of 2024 and I feel really out of it this morning. I immediately woke up this morning to an email saying that I hadn't completed the pre-placement quiz we were supposed to do, and I'll be honest guys, I just didn't check my emails over Christmas at all. I decided to have this year's Christmas as a complete break. So I've been panicking and doing that quiz alongside the lectures this morning, but I've managed to get it done. I think to avoid this happening in the future, I need to sit down today and fill in my diary and make sure I've got everything written in there because I just get so many emails I can't stay on top of them right anyway I've got an hour to do these two lectures so I'm gonna get them done now I'm sick of waiting for the right word Like I'm wasting time away. I'm back from my very long afternoon at the sexual health department. We were in groups of 11 in these tiny like clinic rooms and we rotated around six different rooms and we just did lots of mini teaching sessions. So there was one on intimate examinations where we practiced taking and in doing an intimate examination on the male and female model. We did a couple of like sexual history takings where we would ask them about symptoms and like the more, I guess, embarrassing, awkward, you would maybe say questions that we don't always get practice asking patients. And we were just role playing that. It wasn't with any like real patients or anything. And then there was just like some teaching sessions on like herpes and warts all that good stuff. It was a good afternoon. I definitely always learn more in situations like that rather than with the online lectures. But I feel like I knew nothing about gum this morning and now I feel like I could probably tell you a few things about gum. My plan now is to build the lamp that I bought. One of my New Year's resolutions is to make our flat a bit more homey because we moved in in the summer my dad got ill in the summer, then he died. That whole time around when, just before he died and when after he died, I was barely in this flat and I wasn't really putting any love or care into it. And Jack tries his best, bless him, but let's be honest, I'm the one who picks out the nice cutesy furniture bits. I'm looking out in the sales for lots of different things and one thing I noticed when my mum came here to stay, we were having like a takeaway night and we only had the big light and then my salt lamp, so <laughs> the lighting situation just wasn't good. And so I bought this lamp and I'm going to put it together now. This evening I am going to do some pass med because I know nothing about OBS and Gynae. Apart from paediatrics, I think OBS and Gynae is probably the placement where I feel like I don't know anything. So I'm definitely going to do some revision tonight. A thousand fly away is a strange. Okay, I've made dinner tonight. I have got 
chicken with cheese and some potatoes and broccoli and Jack has the same but he's got the supercharged gym man version I was just about to get on the sofa for the evening and read my book but I've just remembered that I have to do three lectures for homework for tomorrow. The person running this module is the kind of person that will pick on you and make you turn your webcam on and answer the questions. So I need to do these lectures. Ah, today has been so long. Well, I never claimed to know how it ought to be. But that don't mean I Good morning, it is Tuesday and I'm once again talking to you looking completely dishevelled but I did roll out of bed ready for my online day. I'll put my to-do list for today on the screen so we've got some lectures in the morning, we've got some workshops online in the afternoon, I need to go on a run, then this afternoon or this evening I'm going to do some pass med video editing, I've got to do some cleaning, so I've got another busy day. Right, so here's the first lecture on HIV. This is a 50 minute lecture recording and then I think there's another one which is 35 minutes. So it's quite a lot to get through. Probably gonna 1.2 speed it so I can get through a bit quicker. The quicker I get it done, the quicker I get to lunch. <laughs> Feeling like Groundhog Day right now. I've just finished the first two lectures and now I'm having scrambled eggs again. The only difference today is that Jack is not at his desk because he's gone to the office. So it's just a little bit quieter in here today. Anyway, gonna eat these quick and then get on with the next two lectures. I think there's one on parasites and then there's one on STIs in MSN. So that's men who have sex with them. Lectures are done. I'm gonna squeeze in a run now before the afternoon lectures. If you're thinking, hmm, Lydia, I didn't realize you were a bit of a runner. I'm not, but in January, I am running 70 miles for Prostate Cancer UK over the month. I'm doing a bit of walking as well, but mostly running. And I am trying to run 70 miles because the original challenge on the Prostate Cancer website is to try and run a marathon in a month but I decided to set my target at 70 miles might seem like a bit of a random number my dad was due to turn 70 this month on Thursday this week actually so I wanted to mark that somehow because he didn't get to celebrate his 70th birthday and this week was supposed to be a really special week for him and us as a family but it's not he's dead instead in his memory and to raise money for prostate cancer uk i'm going to try and run 70 miles so we're at the 9th of january today i have managed 23 miles already so i'm doing pretty well i've raised over a thousand pounds already but if you are able to donate anything you can literally a few pounds i'll pop the link in the description because every little helps raise money for an amazing cause one in eight men will get prostate cancer the prostate specific antigen or the psa which is a marker that they use to try and diagnose prostate cancer isn't the best marker. One in 50 men will have a normal PSA when they have an aggressive form of prostate cancer and my dad was one of those men. I believe there needs to be more research into diagnosing prostate cancer. That's why I want to raise money. Not a good sign that I'm out of breath just talking about it but yeah I'm gonna get ready for my run now and actually I've been sent in the post a running t-shirt. This is the t-shirt they sent me so I'm gonna wear that today. Oh, look at that. So stylish. At the moment, I'm not doing very fast runs because Jack was like, don't get injured. So it says that it feels like minus one outside. So I'm gonna wrap up a bit. Right, let's do it. So I've just done two workshops on Teams. Um, we're in smaller groups this afternoon. And we have to answer questions. So the first workshop was on like interventions for high risk men who have sex with men for like, STIs. So we're basically talking about um, PrEP, which is what you give to somebody who, wait, is that the one before or after? I think it's no, PEP is after. 
Never prep is before. before sorry, yeah. Prep is what you give somebody who might be exposed to HIV to stop them from hopefully catching HIV. So we talked about that and we talked about vaccination. Second one was actually a really small group. It was me and one other student and a registrar and he pretended to be a patient and I had to take the history and that was quite a good session actually because we got lots of feedback. We're having a quick break now and then we've got three more sessions this afternoon. These first weeks on new placements are always like this, they just throw so much information at you. We haven't even started the obs and gyne stuff yet. I think we've got another day of gum tomorrow and then obs and gyne lectures are Thursday and Friday so it's a busy week, but it's good. And I really need to shower after my run, but I haven't had time yet. So I'm going to put you here afternoon and I'll do another time lapse because we love a time lapse. Right, let's put you down. I picked up some of those funky spot stickers in town, Starface they're called, and they have salicylic acid in them. I'm having a bit of a hormonal breakout at the moment, so I thought I'd give these a go, because I normally get one or two, but this month it's just gone to the dogs. I don't know what's gone on. But anyway, I'm going to put the dinner on now. So it looks like I'm cooking again, apparently, according to Jack. But it just involves putting pizza in the oven, so it's not too bad. And then... I'm going to do some past med because I said I would, it's on my to-do list and exams are five months away. Cheers! <laughs> I know it's very unusual for me to vlog this late into the evening, but I just had to show you my setup. I've got a hot chocolate with whipped cream and I'm in bed reading my book. Jack's here too, but he doesn't want to be on camera. My book is Good Material by Dolly Alderton. I am an avid Dolly Alderton fan. Is that the right way of saying it? Avid fan? Yeah. Is? Yeah. I'm a big fan of Dolly Alderton. You're an avid, avid fan. An avid fan. <laughs> I have read all of her books, actually. My favourite is still, even after this one, Everything I Know About Love. That is the best one. This one is quite good. It is about a breakup, and it is written mostly from the man's perspective. Um, I've only got, like, mm, 25 pages left. And I must admit, it does drag a little bit in the middle, but I think if you're reading it, uh, or you are going to read it, stick with it because the last bit of the book is actually then you see the woman's perspective of the breakup and everything just makes sense. So I would recommend, especially if you're going through a breakup, I think, or if you've liked her other books, you'll like this one. My best friend Charlotte got me this mug. Basically, we call each other B, so we've started buying each other presents that are B themed. Hence the bee themed mug. Say goodnight. Good night, camera. Good night. <laughs> Wednesday morning I met up with Ellie who is a fourth year medical student also living in Winchester. We'd been set a workbook with approximately 1,000 questions on sexual health to go through. It needed to be submitted for marking by the Thursday morning and we were given Wednesday off of lectures to complete the book so naturally we decided it would be much more bearable in a cute cafe with plenty of oatmeal lattes to fuel us through the day. Getting through the workbook we still have about 10 pages to go so taking a while. We are halfway through, I think. We've done so much already, look. Literally, so many pages. It feels like I'm doing homework in like year 10. I think we're gonna go get some lunch now and then finish off the rest. After lunch, so I think we deserve a break. I quite like this.
this building. We decided to switch spots to Winchester Library for the afternoon for a change of scene and to be honest, to stop ourselves from over caffeinating. We've got meal deals from Tesco. Is very Ellie doesn't like mine, but I think I think I've got a winner. So I've gone for katsu chicken and duck sushi, a large bag of prawn cocktail crisps, and a naked green machine smoothie because I wanted to get good value for money. He taught me for your meal deal. New Ginny Kitchen meal. Oh. Chicken tikka, no mayo. 24 grams of protein. No mayo though. Will it not be quite dry? I don't know, but it says it's got pickled vegetables, masala curry, and vinaigrette. Okay. What's it? Elite. <laughs> Lydia wasn't sure about my water choice. No, I wasn't. Yeah, Hydration. Not right now. I think that's probably like. A... I think I've got about eight pound of stuff. Yours is yours is good for value. Just like doesn't really together but yours does yeah <laughs> mine's probably like five quid maybe it's not bad it is now four o'clock and i have finally finished this book stupid book thing. I'm being dramatic, it was probably quite good really for learning stuff. But we got there in the end and I was happy to do it with Ellie because it kind of made it a bit more fun. We were actually pretty productive. Normally we like natter a lot but today we were quite good at getting stuff done. Tomorrow we start OBS and Gynae lectures and this evening I am heading home to Paul because tomorrow would have been Dad's 70th so I'm going to be at home for that. I've just deep cleaned my kitchen because I was so fed up with sitting down looking at pieces of paper. And now I'm just gonna do some video editing, I think, before I catch the train. So on Thursday morning, we finally started the OBS and Gynae lectures, which I'd been excited for the whole week, but what I didn't anticipate would be the fact that it was Dad's 70th, and this inevitably made it really hard to focus. I actually got my dad this mug for his um, 67th birthday, so that would have been three years ago now, or four. Um, <laughs> but this is Sean Deitch, who used to be the Burnley manager. Sadly, not anymore, but Dad was a big Sean Deitch fan. And even after he got sacked, he was still a massive Sean Deitch fan. And I know he really liked this mug when I got it for him. So it felt right to drink out of it today. <laughs> the first lecture was an introduction to the module, followed by a lecture on maternal physiology. After struggling through the morning of lectures and constantly making sure my mic was muted in case anyone could hear me crying, I used my lunch hour to get a run in for my fundraiser with my sister Liberty. I've got a running buddy today. There he is. That's who we're running for today. How are you feeling, Liv? All right. You're a bit nervous. And I did 5K yesterday. So. Right, we could just do 5K. Right, we gotta get going though, because it's, um... Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. Let me just quickly stretch. <laughs> from my run we did just under 5k in the end or maybe basically 5k we ran around pool park lake and cricket pitch which is where my dad used to take our dog macy pretty much every day so it was nice to do a run somewhere where dad probably would have gone today the sun is shining and it's literally the most beautiful day and january like is normally miserable and i just i'm glad that the weather is nice today but i just can't help but think about what dad would have done today on his birthday he probably would have gone for a walk with mum and they might have gone to the pub for lunch and then we probably would have gone out in the evening as a family and like just thinking about what today should have been is quite painful and hard to do and i just think like why didn't he get today anyway the run was good i'm glad libby came with me and the weirdest thing happened we bumped into my dad's friend richard who 
lives in Bournemouth. So he doesn't even live in Poole. And we bumped into him like we were running and then I just saw this man. I was like, wait, that's Richard. So we stopped and Richard likes to talk. So we had a little bit of a chat with him. Like it's just the weirdest thing like to bump into him today of all days. And uh, yeah, they were really good friends. So it was nice to see a friend of his and then run in the sunshine and run past the tennis courts where dad taught me to play tennis. I've now managed to run 28.5 miles this month. So I'm really happy, I'm getting through my target and um, I hope dad would be proud. Anyway, we've got some more OBS and Gynae lectures this afternoon. I'm gonna try and engage more with them this afternoon. This morning I was very like in my feels and I'm gonna try and just focus a little bit because I do actually need to learn this stuff. They're live so I'm just gonna crack on with these lectures now because they're starting in about two minutes time. <laughs> So I did a lot better in the afternoon, despite Macy's best efforts to distract me with her kisses. We did three lectures back to back, starting with OBS and Gynae history taking, then one on clinical examination, and then finally one on antenatal care. This was followed by a talk just for the group of us on placement at Southampton, talking about our timetables and expectations for the placement, that kind of thing. So it was a long afternoon, but quite informative, and I feel like it was a good introduction. That evening, I took Macy for a walk with mum to get some fresh air, and then we went out to a restaurant that dad celebrated his birthday at a couple times in recent years, and we raised a glass to him. So I'll take this moment to say happy 70th birthday, dad. Here's to you and your incredible 70 years on planet Earth. You've inspired me to always work hard, but to see the funny side of things and to enjoy life to the best of my ability. Love you, dad. Ready? One, two, three. Good morning slash good afternoon everyone. I have forgot to vlog this morning. That was silly of me. I think because yesterday was a bit of a heavy day, I just woke up this morning, rolled out of bed and started the lectures and didn't even think about getting the camera. Sorry about that, but this morning we just had three more OBS and Gynae lectures. I'll put my to-do list here for today. So I've done three lectures so far. I'm finding OBS and Gynae really interesting. I find pregnancy interesting. I find maternal and fetal medicine really interesting. So I don't mind that we're having lots of lectures. I'm just a bit fed up of being like indoors and not doing anything. I've just sat inside all day and I have been a week really, apart from when I went out with Ellie. So I think I'm gonna spend this Friday afternoon in town in a cafe doing the lectures because I just need to get some space and um, Jack's working from home as well and that's normally quite nice to have somebody here but he's like got calls and stuff so it's a bit crowded in our kind of lounge area. <laughs> so I'm gonna go out and do the final lectures of the week and I'm gonna do some psychiatry revision as well because exams are four months away and I feel like I need to start going over stuff from the start of the year like psychiatry because when dad was ill I just wasn't really taking stuff in and as much as I enjoyed that place well I don't know how much I actually remember so revision needs to happen today but yeah I'm feeling all right yesterday was difficult uh it was emotional there was laughter there was tears we had some nice food and we talked about dad a lot and yeah it was good to mark the day and I posted a video on Facebook for all of his friends to see of like a little bit like the one I put on my channel but more personalized and a bit more like upbeat maybe and it was nice to like have messages from his mates and family and talk about him a lot yesterday and make make the day about him because that's what it should have been if he was here so yeah the next lecture starts in 35 minutes so I've got a little bit of time now just to pop into town get a coffee get my bearings and get ready for the afternoon operation work in a cafe was go it was absolutely freezing though so I don't think I'll be going back to this particular cafe in a hurry <laughs> the good thing about Winchester is there's literally a cafe every two seconds on the high street so I have plenty of choice the lectures were coming in thick and fast we had two on maternal medical disorders and it was so in-depth and I was really struggling by the end. I think there's been so much content on this week that it was just a bit much by this point but I went through it, got there in the end and the final lecture of the week was on multiple pregnancies which I do find personally quite interesting to me just because my mum had twins and I can just about remember her being pregnant with my sisters. I think I was about four years old. Twins is just a big theme in my family so always interesting to me then i finished the week with some psych revision so i use the uk mla content map to know which topics to revise so if you aren't aware the uk mla is the uk medical licensing exam 
and the year that I sit finals, which just so happens to be next year, 2025, the UK MLA will be the exam that all medical students sit across the country. And this exam allows us to join the medical register and be practicing doctors. Before this, universities could set their own final exam, but now the whole process is gonna be standardized. Every student sitting the same exam on the same day. They have very kindly published a content map that lists presentations and conditions that we should know by final year. So this is what I use to plan my revision. So I thought I would have a quick catch up with you before I finish the vlog because my sister said I have a habit of finishing my vlogs in the same way where I don't end the vlog properly. I just do some fun activity on a Friday night and then like zone the vlog out, which to be fair, she's right. And I thought I'm gonna be unpredictable and I'm gonna speak to the camera today. So I've had some dinner, I had carbonara with Jack. We were just watching some telly, but now I'm getting ready to head in Southampton for Sophie's birthday, which I'm quite excited for. Have a couple drinks, try and have some fun. But yeah, that is the first week of Obs and Gynae. Obviously, I didn't actually go to place when it was just the lectures, but still, I feel like I'm starting to get a taste for it. So the week started with all the gum, the genital urinary medicine lectures, and they got old pretty quickly, I can't lie. <laughs> it's more the graphic images I've had to look at this week, it's just, you just actually, nothing shocks me anymore. But that's, you know, all part of the fun of this. I have been enjoying the Obs and Gynae lectures so far, I think that this is going to be the placement for me, I hope. I'm really excited to maybe, maybe get to see some babies being born, like that is the thing that is getting me excited. Not to be so predictable but I just love babies. I can't lie, if I could have my own right now I'd have one but I've got no job, I'm a medical student, I can't do that despite how much I want a cute little baby. I will have babies one day hopefully but just not right now, now is not the right time. Anyway I'm really excited for this placement and yeah the last couple of days have been long but interesting. We had a good talk at the end yesterday where they kind of explained what the placement's going to be like at Southampton because that's where I'm going to be based and they said we might have to do a night shift so apparently more babies are born at night so they've said that we have to try and do at least one night shift on this placement but you know what guys I thought that will be great content let me not let me not just be thinking about YouTube all the time but I thought mm, I bet the viewers would love me to do a night shift so do you know what guys in the for the oh, is that a wrinkle no for the, uh, in the interest of research for you guys, I'm gonna do the night shift. I definitely am. I mean, I'm actually kind of excited for it. Also, I am a bit of a night owl anyway, so I think I'll be all right doing a night shift. So yeah, yesterday, bit of a, bit of an anomaly in terms of days, you know. It's not always your dead dad's 70th birthday, but here we go. But yeah, that yesterday was tough, but we made it through feeling a bit fresher today. My plan is to run a 10k tomorrow because I did my 5k on dad's birthday and I thought you know I could do two of those easily. I think I've got the running bug. So I'm gonna get another what is that like six miles in on Saturday and then Sunday me Jack and our old housemate Luke from last year are gonna go for a walk and a roast. So I've got a wholesome weekend coming up. Uh, I think this year my goals are to prioritise self-care and my mental health and um, I've already started making, making moves with that because I've actually decided I'm going to start doing some therapy. I um, decided that after everything that happened I need to talk to somebody. Prioritising self-care and my mental health is definitely my number one goal this year and another goal of mine is to say yes to more things and do more fun stuff i've already got glastonbury festival tickets so i've already got a fun summer coming up and that will actually be my last summer before i start work as a doctor the next because the next summer will be i'll be about to start work so this is my last like uni uni summer yeah um so obviously i'm going to fill that up with some fun stuff Another one of my goals is to pass the exams because we all know I struggle with that sometimes. We're going to be trying to repeat the success I had last year. 
we've had some obstacles and we're gonna have some more I'm guessing but uh we can we can overcome that because I've overcome everything else so far it's fine those are my main goals. One of them is also to learn to drive, but I can't afford therapy and driving lessons at the moment, so therapy first, then driving lessons. But I have done quite a few hours and I've passed my theory. I think I probably could get it done this summer. And another one is to read 25 books. And I've already read one, so yeah. Right, I really need to go. Let's go have some fun. <laughs> 